everybody. It is I, Mara Winterhide from 3DX Chat with another how-to tutorial for you builders. All right, so just like I promised, I have another video coming your way, this one here, uh, in the series of the two that I promised you guys over the next couple of days. This one is about the V-snap. That's what I call it. Um, I have to give credit to St. Vitus for this because, again, he's the one that taught me to build. And he's the one that told me about this, but I, for some reason, kept thinking that I was supposed to hold down the shift key with the letter V, and that's why it wasn't working properly for me. But I was wrong. This is the perfect way. Now, the reason I'm going to show you guys stairs is because I think every builder will agree with me on this one. Stairs are the bane of my existence in this godforsaken building. Ah. I could not get them to work for the life of me. I kept being told that in order to get stairs to line up properly, you have to get them, you know, a couple millimeters above the level, like above the pa platform that you were trying to kind of like sync them with. And I'm like, it wouldn't work. And I would keep getting stuck at the top step and I would never cross over the final stair to get onto the platform that I was trying to get onto. I don't know. So I was like, I give up. And then I thought, well, wait a second. If I can V-snap all the other pieces together what about stairs so v snap basically what it does is that it lines them up perfectly so you don't have to sit here and like zoom in like this and be like okay i'm gonna move it this way and move it that way like 10 like 0.5 degrees it actually snaps it right into place to the next corner that you're trying to snap it into and it lines it up perfectly and it's let me tell you it was a lifesaver when i discovered this so i'm going to show you guys how to do this first things first you got to be on center not pivot and you got to be on the move gizmo for those of you that don't know this little contraption here that's got the blue red and yellow or is that chartreuse <laughs> i think it's chartreuse but anyways yellow whatever i think it's the lighting in my room yellow blue and red arrows this is called a gizmo i don't know why but that's what they call it so um this here is the gizmo if you're wondering why it's so big here's another trick if you go into your settings on the right hand side of the screen here it's normally set to one. See how tiny that is? Well, this is a pain in my ass because sometimes I go to grab it and I can't. So if you go down to the gizmo scale here and you click three, it jumps up the size of it. So now you're gone from a size one to a size three. It's good. It's very handy. So to move this and snap it into place and line up perfectly with something, you got to hold down the letter V. And V stands for vertex. So basically uh, another corner or angle. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to hold down the letter V. And when you do that, you notice how the, the center of the gizmo kind of jumped down to a corner? See? And you can jump down to this one or this one. Or I can go up to this one or this one. Or hell, let's do this one. Let's do that one. So when you do that, you actually can like move it. So I'm going to line these stairs up to this corner over here. It's going to jump all the way over there, but just watch what happens. Now you don't want to, I don't want to line up this corner here. Hold on. I don't want to line up this corner here. Okay. I want to line up this. I don't want to, cause if I line up this corner over there, the stairs are going to be hanging off and I don't want that. I'll show you what I mean. So let's do, um, let's see here. Let's do this corner here. See how it jumps over there, but let's go and zoom in. See it literally synced it up perfectly, but here's the problem. You can't get to the stairs. Well, to fix this, all you have to do is one of two things, move them over all you gotta do and now it is perfectly lined up without a hitch there's no fiddling around with going up and down and trying to line it up you just literally v-snap it so i'm going to show you how to do that again hold your v key down oh, by the way make sure you're on center make sure you're on the move gizmo hold the letter v down and see, your gizmo center will change to a white square. You can kind of pick whatever corner or vertex you want to move. And we're going to move this one here to the edge of this guy, right? Oh, it's being finicky. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Oh, wait, there we go. Where is it? See, this is, it gets finicky because you got to be, hmm. Okay, let's try this again. You got It's kind of finicky. Sometimes you got to kind of move around. 
Let's try to do this. There we go. Did you see that? Uh, oh, there we go. There. But I want to move it up. There we go. Now. Perfect. See? If you wanted it perfectly lined up at the end here to this corner, you're done. So you got to kind of fiddle with it a bit. But let me tell you, it saves you so much time. Now, does it work for circular items? Yes, it does. And I'm going to show you how it does. So let's go over here. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to load two objects. I'm going to load this. And I'm going to load... What else? Let's load... Where the heck's my cylinder? Oh, it's up here. There we go. All right. Okay, so let's load this. Okay, see how this is pretty much the same. But see when you click on these items, they have a, like the, I can't remember the name of the box. It was, I, my brain is not working right now. It still technically has the corners or the vertexes around it. You just can't physically see them unless you're in build mode and click on the item. It's kind of got like an invisible square box around it. So you got to think of that as the point that you're going to be moving. So look at that and then look at this one. See how they're almost the same size? So this is what you're going to do. You're going to hold down the V key. See? And it's not going to select that exact corner, but you can still line it up. See? You can still line it up perfectly. And this is where your champagne bottle would start. See? It's almost perfect. You can't even see the line hardly at all. So this is when you would go... Well, you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to turn this, and then you're going to size this up, and you're going to turn it into a champagne bottle. So then you go like this, something like that, and you would change it to blurred glass. You go to, or bottled glass, even better. There you go. Bottled glass. There you go. There's your champagne bottle. Ta-da. That would be the beginning of your champagne bottle. See how simple that is, though, when you V-snap everything? It's just so less time-consuming. I mean, before I had to sit here and I was like, okay, before you, this is what we do. You go like this and you'd like move it over this way. This is what I did with my champagne glass. And I was like, oh my. And Saint was like, why did you do that? <laughs> Use V-snap. I'm like, what the heck is this? So you have, it's just time consuming. So just hold the letter V down and start moving it around and boom, you're done. See? Perfect. It's so, such a time saver. That is how you do the V-snap. Now, you're probably wondering, does it work for the other shapes, like the ropes? Yep, it does. Oh, does it work for these guys? Haha, -ha, I will show you. The answer to that question is definitely a yes. So I'm going to do this as well for this one. I'm going to show this to you guys. Okay, so I'm going to show you another trick with these two, actually copy and we're gonna go like this huh let's go like this all right so now we're gonna move this oh no I gotta turn it one more time there we go got my little sound effects hold down the B key again and we're gonna snap this puppy up here oh no hold on boom done there you go now your circular staircase is all synced up and ready to go. See how, see how easy that is? That, my dear friends, is called the V-snap. Does it work, <coughs> excuse me, for the ropes? <coughs> excuse me. I'm a little under the weather. So let's move this guy down. Uh, let's see here. And we're going to try this one. So... Okay, so now we're going to, like, instead of me fiddling with this and trying to line this up, I'm going to show you guys. So hold down the B key and left click and hold it down and boom, done. See that? It's all lined up. This is called V-snap. That's what I call it. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. You just hold the letter V down when you're in the move mode. Make sure you're on center. Make sure on the move gizmo. And you just hold the letter V down and pick a vertex or corner and away you go. It is super handy and is such a time consumer. Now, somebody else said to me, hey, can you make this like 
go the other because you know though they have those winding staircases that go in opposite directions they start off on either side um i can't remember the name of them but um somebody said hey can you do that and i was like yeah you can i'm trying to remember the way that we did it though no that wasn't it um what way was it there was a way to mirror image it anyways so that's how you do the v-snap <coughs> <coughs> there's one more thing I wanted to show you. Somebody said, somebody was asking, where's that shape? Oh, there it is. Uh, these ones here, does it work for these? I'm going to show you that it does. Because let me tell you. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we're going to move this. And we're going to do a third one. We're going to move it this way. Okay, so um, we're going to turn these now. Okay, and then we're going to go back to the move. Hold the V key down. And we're going to move it to there. See? No lines. This is actually handy because this is actually um, this here was actually perfect because I'm actually building a chair uh, taking an actual chair from in-game and building around it and for my from one of my rooms so this actually came very handy came in really really handy for me so let's just turn this again okay and then we're going to do another one okay I think that's enough should be there we go No lines, no nothing. It's done perfectly. Ta-da! Done. So, that is how you do the V-snap. I hope this tutorial was very educational for you. Because let me tell you, when I was shown this, it was a huge time saver for me. And it has been a huge help. So, once again, thanks goes out to St. Vitus for showing me this. And you can all thank him when you see him because he is the reason I am able to show you all this. So, hope you guys have a great night. I will see you all in-game and happy building.